a compressed audio optical disc, MP3 CD, or MP3 CD-ROM or MP3 DVD is an optical disc usually a CDR, CDRW, DVDR or DVDRW that contains digital audio in the MP3 file format. Discs are written in the yellow book. Standard data format used for CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs, as opposed to the Red Book standard audio format used for CDDA audio CDs. Topic <description>, description: Compressed audio files are supported by many modern CD players as well as DVD players. Disc players are capable of playing compressed formats, such as MP3, the most commonly used format, as well as OG Vorbis, the proprietary Windows Media Audio and ATRAC. Because of audio data compression, optical discs do not have to spin all of the time, potentially saving battery power, however, decompressing the audio takes more processor time. The audio is buffered in random access memory, which also provides protection against skipping. The number of files that a disk can hold depends on how the audio files are encoded and the length of the audio. A standard audio CD 74 minutes can hold about 18 audio programs, a 650 MB data CD equivalent to 74 minute audio CD containing mid-quality 160 to kilobit per second audio files can hold approximately 9.5 hours of audio or about 138 audio tracks. ID3 tags stored in compressed audio files can be displayed by some players, and some players can search for audio files within directories on a compressed audio optical disk. There is no official standard for how audio files on a compressed audio optical CD are stored on disks. As such, the format expected by different players varies. This sometimes leads to incompatibilities and difficulty in playing discs, often because of file name length limits, sub-directory limits, number of files limits, and special character bugs. Sometimes, pressed CDs containing MP3s can be used, since some CD-ROM video games can act as an MP3 CD for some users. Some older classic CD-ROM games tend to use WAV files since WAV files were the biggest audio format throughout the 90s, in which WAV files on optical discs are also compatible with CD players which have Yellow Book CD-ROM support. <laughs> Use in audiobooks This technology is most commonly used in audiobooks new on CD since 2000 or so. Especially since unabridged audiobooks can run into many hours length. CEA, ARPA has published the following standards on audiobooks. CEA 2003C, Digital Audiobook File Format and Player Requirements CEA 2004, Audiobook Media and Player Compatibility Topic. Advantages compared to Redbook audio CDs Longer runtime as per file compression 6 Redbook audio discs for the price of one Yellowbook CD-ROM, depending on file compression rates Longer battery life from fewer disc spins Discs marketed without music Endorsement aren't rejected since Yellow Book Mode CD-ROM is being used instead of Red Book Audio Mode. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantages compared to other means to play compressed digital audio. Most disadvantages with compressed audio optical discs are present with CDs and DVDs in general. Topic: Rewrite (RW) limits and compatibility compared to write once (R). 
Compared to solid-state flash memory which can be rewritten a finite amount of about 100,000 times and hard drives which can be rewritten a near-infinite number of times, optical disks with compressed audio on them are either non-rewritable or can only be rewritten about 1,000 times, which includes having to erase the entire volume before rewriting CDRW, DVDRW, in some cases 1,000 write, erase cycles including entire volume erasure per rewrite on RW optical disks versus 100,000 plus write, erase cycles on flash memory while retaining old data can be somewhat of a moot point with applications that have less demand for usage. Another issue rewritable optical disks suffer from, is that the rewritable disks have less compatibility with older disk players, though most CD and DVD players that support MP3s and other compressed audio will support RW disks easily. <laughs> Longevity of service life The dependency of moving parts for the associated equipment guarantees less runtime than solid state portable media players for battery life reasons, as well as the overall service life. When being looped, an optical disc player can fail in less than one month when spinning uninterrupted, and solid state portable media players can run for as long as six months uninterrupted without failure. Shelf space Yellow Book optical disc ROMs with compressed audio may free up as many as five Red Book audio CDs, but they still demand lots of shelf space, compared to external hard drives and solid-state flash memory. <laughs> Material degradation Unlike mechanical disks with permanent housing such as hard drives, and solid-state devices like flash memory which generally has inexpensive but tough housing, optical disks typically have a reflective surface that can get damaged at relatively low thresholds of surface damage, in which if damage is just accidental, it could mean rendering it unusable. Also, the repeated handling of disks between dual case and disk drive exposes the disk to dust, and also makes the disk liable to be damaged permanently. Also note that some CD and DVD disks also have defective aluminum layers that can flake, and damage the disk naturally. <laughs> file, volume size limits and access to files Repeated insertion and removal of optical disks can occur when somebody has to deal with multi-gigabyte collections which can span across as many as 10 CDRs or 5 DVDRs or even more when lots more gigabytes were to be used. Sometimes when somebody is looking for a specific MP3 or similar, it can result in insertion and removal if more disks were used to increase the size of a library of files, in which copying the files to a hard drive, and archiving them there can be a workaround to ensure faster access to files. Recordable Blu-ray disks can somewhat solve this problem, but they too suffer from most other disadvantages. The high cost of standalone Blu-ray burners, as well as the higher cost of equipment with BD-ROM drives can negate buying sold-state flash memory instead, of which the rewritability of flash memory also negates Blu-ray's apparent advantages. See also Redbook, Compact Disc Digital Audio CDDA, Yellow Book, Compact Disc Read-Only Memory CD-ROM